there welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video before we go any further my name is Marie please subscribe down below I post about my life uh, my art my makeup my animals just everything in between so um, today we're gonna be focusing on a little bit of a challenge um, and it's been pretty much a challenge because this is the third time me video of taping this because um, as you can see I'm already baking and um, so basically the challenge is my mom decided on the shadows I will be using today um, using my Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette so at first she only gave me two two shadows and I told her I need at least four because I use between five and six every day so she decided on bubblegum Snack, um, Jawbreaker, and Delicious. So these two right here. All right. So these four. I don't know. Anyway. So I tried a few things. It hasn't worked out. So you know what? We're just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna go ahead and do it. Don't mind the hair. We're not gonna talk about the hair. So I'm gonna speed you through this because I don't want this to be. 15 20 minutes long, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and start. Okay, so while I'm doing that, um, since I'm new. On here I thought I could talk a little bit about myself and my life and again everything in between um, I mean I can start stating facts I guess um, or I'm not sure um, so as my first video said I I am from Montreal, but I have moved to New Brunswick since. I uh, started out in a smaller city, now I'm at a little bit of a bigger city. If you're hearing cracking, it's my chair. Um, I have been in the city for a couple years now already. Actually, seven years this year. It goes by really fast. Um, but I have been in New Brunswick since 2004. Um, wow, this palette's really pigmented because I keep having all the pigment drops. It drops all over my nose. It's all good. Um, okay, so other than that, I am a hedgehog breeder. I have been around hedgehogs since 2002 when they became legal in Canada. Our family brought over six hedgehogs at the time and we started breeding and kind of created an empire from there. Um, my mom has retired from the breeding a few years ago so I took over. Um, I'm a bit more low-key because of where I live. It's not as popular or doesn't sell as well as in the bigger cities like Montreal, Toronto, but it does sell very well anyways. I just don't have need to have three, four litters a month. I only usually have one every every couple weeks. So. Um, right now I have a few females, a few males. I have so many in and out that I don't really count them anymore. But um, about a dozen right now of hedgehogs, which is not bad because I'm used to having 40 hedgehogs at a time, so I am probably going to talk about my hedgehogs.
hedgehogs on this channel. So if you want more information, you can subscribe and I'll probably make more videos about them. Um, other than that, you might see my dogs in the background. I have two dogs. I have Layla, who's a golden retriever. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Come here. Come here. And she's going to be six this year. And then um, we have Zola. Zola is a year and a half. So for Layla, I was really lucky because... Uh-uh, come here. I was really lucky because I got to see the birth. And with Zola, we were actually her third home by six months old. It's kind of sad. It's uh, she was definitely a mess <laughs> when we got her. Um, I mean, she's still a mess, but um, a lot of a better, a much better mess, I would say. Um, a fact about me, I don't know. Um, I'm a righty. I do use my left hand for certain things. Like, I can eat with my left hand. I can, um, I can do some of my makeup. I'm a groomer by trade. I can groom with my left hand also. Um, yeah. My life is not that exciting. <laughs> Um, I currently paint for a living. I paint pet portraits. They're pretty fun and colorful. Um, people are loving them and I'm really enjoying it. So it definitely, it's definitely a win-win. I am a big animal lover, obviously, so I always kind of gravitate around animals. So grooming, breeding, and I do everything ethical, so I, I'm i a big advocate for resp responsible breeding um, for any kind of animal. So if you have a farm and you have 40 different animals that you breed just because, that is not as acceptable. Um, I believe in adopt or shop responsibility. I can't say that word, but that's fine. Um, I believe that if you can adopt, great. And if you can't, then shop with actual proper breeders. Um, I know I might, it might shock a few people, but, you know, purebred of anything, it, there's a reason why. And that is usually because the, every, the temperament is more stable, um, more predictable, with a mutt or backyard breeders, you don't know what to expect. So it's very important that if you're shopping, you're doing it responsibly. So, for example, we would love to have a Great Dane one day. Alright, but as I was saying, that Great Dane can't just come from anyone, mostly not with a big breed like that. It has to come from a responsible breeder, which I have found luckily in Ontario. Alright, so I'm going to stop chatting, I'm going to finish this look, and I'll be back. So there's just a highlighter done. 
to do me. Ooh, I'm highlighted. Oh. Yes, please. I didn't actually mean to put that much highlighter, but obviously the makeup gods wanted me to, so here we go. Alright, so here you go. I will put a picture at the end of the video to show you the end results. Woo. I'm full of makeup, but other than that, I think um, third time's a charm, definitely. <laughs> um, definitely a big difference from what I was doing earlier, but I like it. Um, yeah, for only four shadows, I did pretty okay with what I was given. Um, yeah, so if you have a suggestion for the next video, please comment down below, let me know, and uh, I will try to make it happen. So here's my look for the, um, my mom picked my eyeshadow challenge, I guess, <laughs> and I uh, hope you guys like it, and I will see you soon. Bye!